What's up YouTube? So today we finished up the little cleaver knife that uh, Joe Pettish asked us to make on the, down in the comments. Um, so we'll go over what we got here. Um, so I left a kind of hammered mark in it. I don't know if you can see that really well, but there you go. Um, left it hammered up. I took a ball peen to it. I think you saw me doing that in the forging video. And like all knives, I put this little little choil right here, I guess it's called, or something like that. It's for, you know, for sharpening it, easier sharpening. Um, see the back, make the front shiny. Use bird's eye maple. Um, you guys know I really like that stuff. And those are some of the pins that I made too. Um, those are 730 seconds, I think is what they were. Did a nice little thing on the edge of the blade or the handle there so you get a little bit better grip and then you can see right there the edge it's pretty sharp um i think we're gonna give this one away i think i know a guy that might want this pretty bad so you could be looking in the mail it, he's i'm thinking he's pretty sure he knows who he is so it's on its way um i'm gonna make a sheath for it for him um, and then we'll ship, we'll ship it off to them, but that's it. I just wanted to give you guys a real quick peek. Uh, we didn't get the videos finished for the sanding or the grinding, I should say quite yet. Um, it takes a lot to edit them out when there's so much of it and you know, there's a good amount of grinding. Uh, it doesn't take long to forge them, but it takes a good while to grind them out, but that's it. That's the finished product other than the sheath. And like I said, we're going to, we're going to get it shipped out to them as soon as we get that done. So, thanks everything you do for us. Um, appreciate all the likes, subscribes, and comments. And, uh, you know, just tell people about us. We would like to have everybody we can take a look at our stuff and what we do. Um, that's a, overall, I think this was about a three-day build. You know, a couple hours on it every day. Um, the hardness was kind of tricky on this one. I think my oil was a little weird. Um, so, it was a little strange to harden it, but... I don't know. It worked. I uh, I did it another method that I heard about and I tried that and it worked out a little better. So it took me two times to harden this blade, but I don't think it took away from it. It seemed like it was uh, pretty good. You know, file skated right across it. So it just did good. But again, I'm rambling. So let me get out of here. So this brand new down south survival. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Uh, leave a comment down uh, down down there and uh, let me know what you think on the next knife. I was thinking of Karambit because I seen it on Forged in Fire. A couple people asked me about doing those, um, but I, I actually think what I'm going to do is a, I think it's called a Kuradashi. Uh, I think I'm going to do that next, the utility knife, and I might keep that for myself for work. So anyway, you guys let me know, comment down below, and let me know what you think. Thanks guys. I can see it.